This is Wyatt at Work. This is Wyatt working with family. This is Wyatt working the family tradition. But what the heck is this? We find out as we take you to the heart of his story. So we gotta start with the basics. Wyatt Hybert has been in law enforcement for more than 20 years. My uncle was a, uh, he was retired as a sergeant with the state police out of District uh, District 1 of Sterling. He worked District 7 a lot in East Moline as well. And then uh, I have four or five different cousins uh, and another uncle that, that is involved in law enforcement. So it's kind of a family tradition. It's really in your blood then, huh? It really is, yeah. You go to the family get-togethers and you know, the ones telling the stories that were the most interesting were the police officers, so. But he no doubt marches to the beat of a different drum, literally, amped up by his dad, who he lost back in 2016. Music is my passion. I do. It's, a lot of people ask, how do you get it all? I mean, are you ever home? And, and yeah, I'm home a lot. I mean, when I'm home, I'm home. I make the most of it. I, um, I'm in tune with my daughters, and, you know, we try to do things and be active, and we do things as a family, but, uh, yeah, um, music's something that's always been a passion to me. I started playing drums when I was in second grade and, and uh, you know, continued to, to do that. And, you know, when I got in my late teens, I started singing and, um, and I grew up watching my dad play in bands. And, and anytime I could go to a, an event that was all ages and, and he was playing at, that was a good night for me. They played together, lived out their dreams side by side. And he's just, he lived life to the fullest. He, he raced a dirt car, he played in a band for 30 years, and uh, you know, fortunately, he he kind of passed on a lot of different things uh, to his kids. Um, to me, was a, one was the passion for music, and uh, we played in a band together for nine years and shared the stage, made a lot of memories. Uh, I learned a lot from him regarding music and relationships, and you know, not burning bridges, and and uh, you know, it, it basically has led me to where I'm at today. Now part of several bands, Wyatt admits one turns more heads. What is this? You know, a guy named Paul DePau, um, out of the Quad Cities, lives in Geneseo, but he runs the BMX track there in, in the Quad Cities and does a lot in the community down there. Um, he's known as one of the best guitar players, I would say, in the, in the Midwest. He's just a phenomenal player. Um, and he had this idea of, of, of dressing up uh, as old guys, and, and he wanted to name the band The Elders. And, uh, you know, just it, it, anything and everything we do, we're, you know, the way he described it is we just, you know, it's not making fun of older people or anything. It's just kind of a, a spoof, a fun act to, to make people laugh, but also enjoy the music. The old man band or tomb has become quite the sensation, playing to packed houses everywhere they go. If your dad hasn't seen it, what do you think he would think of the old man band? I think he would shake his head at first. <laughs> but, uh, you know, after seeing it, uh, even, you know, two or three songs into it, he, he would get it and understand it. And, and like I said, being able to do it in front of some of the larger crowds like the Mississippi Valley Fair and, and things of that nature, it's been a lot of fun. Off the stage, Wyatt knows all too well about the struggles the men and women in blue face each and every day. His own daughters hear the stories on TV and social media. So together, they are telling their own stories, connecting in their own way. Police officers are just like you and I, they're human. You know, they, a uniform is a uniform, yes, but it's cloth that's made out of the same things that we wear daily. And, uh, you know, really, I just do that to, to humanize the badge, to relate to people, um, you know, to put videos up to, to either, you know, give people a chuckle or, you know, also to, uh, you know, kind of give some, some input on as to why, you know, an officer may have handled a situation the way he handled. So um, I think in today's society, in, in 2020, it's important to have um, not only a relationship with your community, but, but just anybody and every, anybody you can reach out to and uh, just, you know, assure them that cops are people and, and you know, care about their communities and, and other people the same. On his own time, they are working it and having a little family fun along the way getting hundreds of thousands of views. I'm an open book. I, I let people know who I am. Um, you know, some don't agree or some will make fun of what we do. So be it, they don't have to agree with it, it's fine. But uh, 
you know, in the end, um, a lot of people, especially through the pandemic, were like, boy, you've, you've uplifted us and, you know, seeing you and your kids interact and, and do those things has, has really kind of been enlightening through these times, so. And you're living life to its fullest like your parents would both want you to. Amen, amen to that. Make sure to check out our extended interviews with them on our podcast, The Heart of the Story with Gary Matibia. Hey, quick shout out to the small businesses that are helping us share these inspiring stories. Blackhawk Bank and Trust, the Mississippi Valley Fairgrounds, and Peterson Plumbing and Heating. 